Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Unity of Command 2. This is a let's play of the Grand Campaign where you play as the Allies through 1943 to 1945 in World War II. This is a turn-based strategy and war game uh, that really focuses on uh, logistics, so supply and other factors like that, uh, in a way that a lot of similar types of games like Panzer Corps and Order of Battle don't quite do in quite as much detail. Uh, and this is episode number 26, I think now? Uh, might be 25. 25 or 26 of our series. This is part two of the Battle of uh, Lumberjack and Undertone, which is the drive to the Rhine from the American perspective, and the drive on the Remagen Bridge, where the Allies historically got across the Rhine for the first time. Um, and this is part two of that battle. It was about an hour-long battle, taken from a live stream from a couple of days ago, and I didn't want to belabor the point with an hour-long video in one episode, so we cut into two pieces. This is the second part. We've accomplished a breakthrough sort of in the center of the front. We're trying to flank the Germans in the south and starve them out, while we also try to slowly grind back and drive back their troops sort of in the forest on the northern part of the front uh, and make progress there. With that being said, as I said, this was taken from a live stream from a couple of days ago, so I'm going to go ahead and jump out, turn it back over to my live stream myself, and we'll pick it up from there. Uh, we have till turn six to take Kaiser Loren for however the uh, for the major victory, however. So I think we continue this advance along the railway. I wonder what that does. Not really much. Uh, one sec. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. Alright, so... We'll cut those Germans off. Alright, so we now have these German troops surrounded in various pockets. Driving on Koblenz. Uh, the problem is this is a really narrow... Really narrow pocket. And so supplies are going to be a problem. Especially since it's all just armor. We also need to advance our headquarters. So let's do this. We'll have to advance these guys to keep the pocket clear. Keep the pocket clear! It's like a quarterback in the NFL. All right, so we'll move these guys here. Can we drive these guys back? We can overrun them, nice. All right, so these guys are surrounded. It's a thin cordon, but we do have them surrounded. That should roughly secure our depot. I don't think they can advance quite like that. So we'll go ahead and move our headquarters forward. They'll take up position with our infantry here. The Germans could counterattack, but I'm hoping that's unlikely. There's a depot in the front line here for the Germans. really need to move this headquarter unit somewhere. I think we'll move them up there with that infantry. And that gets everybody into headquarters protection. And so, can we repair any bridges with these guys? No, but we can go ahead and move this headquarter unit forward as well. Around the German flank. Uh, Machine Green, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, so we're going to be repairing some bridges on turn five, hopefully taking Kaiser Lorton on, on turn five as well. I don't know. I feel really overextended, and I'm nervous about that. I 
definitely need to shift supply around because these guys are going to be out of supply. All this armored spearhead is completely going to be out of supply. And so I think what we need to do here is... Well, I want to keep them in supply so we can keep the... Uh, I mean, probably what I just need to do... Drop the supply there. There aren't any troops there that are impacted by that. Alright, drop that supply too. So we'll be getting two depots back next turn. And maybe reduce this guy's supply. Well, no. Actually... So there's a depot up there, so we can probably reduce this guy's depot. So we're going to have three supply depots next turn. And I think we'll still be okay with supply. Uh, we probably won't be pressing Ramagan quite yet, but we actually only have to take it by turn nine. So we may actually be able to win this one pretty, pretty quickly. I guess we'll find out. Unless there's a bunch of German reinforcements coming that I haven't been paying attention to. Moving the headquarters unit. Huh. All that happened is the generals are running away. All right. All right, so we've got some units out of supply. First thing... Ah! Uh, let's do this first. Let's... Repair some bridges. So, third army... That bridge is important. Both of those bridges are important. Meanwhile, let's also... No, okay. Let's put a depot there. And then let's also put a depot... Do we want to put a depot there or do we just want to expand this one? No, we need to put a depot forward. Why can't I get any supply along the, those troops up there? I can't get supply that far forward. And I can't place a depot any further forward. Crap! Uh... That guy's over two, so we'll take him out. Okay. Advance here. We'll spend some command points to get some of these guys in supply here. That still allows them to attack. So I think we bombard. Nice. Breach their fortifications. Alright, so they're still in a city in ruins. But they're about as suppressed as we can make them. An infantry assault into the city in ruins is a victory. And we also take the enemy uh, supply depot there. So we take the city. And we take the depot. So what's that going to do to our supply situation now? That railway's not clear? Where does it even link up? Uh, oh, okay. Alright, so now let's put a depot. Oh, I can't even put a depot there. Is that I wonder if you can't put a depot in a city in ruins. Because this is a railway line tie. A railway tie, but it doesn't tie up to anything. I think that's the problem. Um... I'm not sure. Like, so we have to take Koblenz, really. That's what's gonna... But how am I supposed to supply troops that far far? That's my main concern. I don't know what I'm supposed to do over here. If I put a depot here, that won't expand south. And I can't put any other depots over this way, except this one. 
but if I expand it, it doesn't really... I mean, I guess theoretically it does. I'm guessing it would expand our reach east. So I guess that's my best bet. So if we look at supply now, there will be supply forward here. So that's good. Meanwhile, these guys are going to have most of their front line supply cut off. These guys are already in desperate supply situations. So I'll, I will attack the enemy where I can to speed things along a little bit in this pocket. But I don't want to just take unnecessary casualties either. So we'll probably let some of these guys starve out for one more turn. You know, all this infantry is freed up there by shortening that front. Mm. Tempted to try and get in behind Ludwigshagen. Ludwigshagen? Get along that railway there. So I want to get along the railway here because that will cut the enemy line for these other units to pull back as well. But we've got a very narrow front. Fortunately, some of the units are already out of supply one turn. But I've got to make sure we maintain the, uh, the gap as well. So I actually attack there. Damn it. Taking unnecessary casualties is not my purpose. The main purpose was just to do that. So we would free up. Additional troops. Okay. So now... What's our supply situation look like? It looks like we've got supplied almost all the forward units. One of the armored units will be out of supply. But we should have supplied almost all the forward units. The uh, This unit back here, we can probably trim supply from these guys. Because we've got those advanced... We've got the depot up here for the 7th. So... Trying to make sure that these guys can't just fall back on Ludwigshaven and um, re, re, make these like insurmountable obstacles. Okay. Meanwhile, in the north, we've got several German units that are surrounded. Kuln looks like it may be a Kuln looks like it may be a serious serious problem. I didn't want to do that. Okay. Nice. We took their depot over here. That'll mess with a bunch of other units supply. And we just drove those guys back. Okay, so we can advance there. Move these guys here, these guys here. All right, so these two German units still cut off. Meanwhile, we have taken one of the other enemy depots and are advancing on both Bonn and Köln. We're almost to the Remagen Bridge. can't 
take it with infantry. Uh, okay. I really hope it doesn't prevent me taking... I don't have a river assault trait, I don't think, for any of my commands. Which might actually make taking that bridge impossible. Not sure. But we'll see. Let's move forward to turn number six. Hey, Charcoal. How you doing? I'm really curious to see how your class of destroyers will, uh, will fare in the series. Interesting, they moved their headquarters forward from Ludwigshafen. Into the trap? That seems weird. Well, there you go. The entire enemy front line is now is cut off from supply. Meanwhile, these guys... Taking mostly suppression damage, which is perfectly fine. I would love to get that railway up and running, but it's weird because the rail line like starts there. So... Alright, so we just destroyed that German pocket. guys in this direction. Okay. So, the south is in pretty damn good shape. I mainly expect... Maybe a play there? I don't know. I'm not really sure. These guys are all going to be out of supply next turn. I've got this guy as a blocking force to protect the rear at Ludwigshaven. Off-map railways providing supplies into that city. I think our first objective is going to be mines. I want to use my air here. And that didn't work. Maybe we can faint at this armor. Apparently they can't move anymore. 1k and cornered. Nice. So we took the first objective along the river. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't even build bridges with the third armor ar army. I haven't I haven't upgraded enough. I can't build pontoons with the first army either. Shit. I don't know. I don't think I can take Ramagan then. Huh. That'll suck. All right. So the one objective is dead. Oops, don't do that. Okay. All right, so strengthening that uh, railway tie here. Actually, once we take Koblenz, the railway network to the south will be open. So that will help alleviate some of our supply issues there. These guys mostly already attacked. Actually, get those guys in there to strengthen our blocking position. 
Those guys already moved. We'll let these guys continue to, to wither on the vine. Four support. That's what three artillery gets you. Okay. City and ruins. Infantry. Don't bombard cities. Seems to be my lesson. Uh, these guys can't cross this river, right? I sure hope not. Let's pull these guys back into the depot just to be sure. Just so they don't go fucking with our supply. Um, we've got to take Kuln up here in the north. Koblenz. Ludwigshaven. Those are the three objectives we still have to take. And we want to take at least one more prisoner of war. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, let's see. Supplies... It is what it is. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. All right, so that's all the Germans did for that turn. Holy cow, the entire line is completely out of supply. Well, I don't want to take any casualties attacking you, so I'm just going to leave you be. I also don't want to turn your city into ruins. So I will just slowly wear you down. Oh, well, cities and ruins anyway, anyways now. Armor, you're going to race along here. 2 KIA. Come south. 3 KIA. Nice. Well, that town is in ruins, but it is ours, and we've taken it. Okay, so... Two support lost there. One to one, we'll attack and take casualties. So we've taken Koblenz now as well. The interesting thing is these German troops are out of supply up here. So if they're out of supply, can we advance across this bridge? Though I also don't understand why it shows intact bridges across, a major bridges across the river. And yet it won't allow us to attack across the bridge. I know it might not be a good idea, right? Like it might be, if not suicidal, unwise. But shouldn't I be allowed to make unwise decisions? Germans attacked across a major bridge at uh, Arnhem. Ooh, if I'm using Arnhem as a justification for why I should be able to do something, maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe that's an indication I'm not smart. <laughs> maybe. All right, let's bomb these troops. Photo two, very nice. Breach, attack. All right. Put those guys along the rail line to make sure they're in supply. All the bases in the south have been been taken. That means these German troops are just going to start falling apart due to lack of supply. Meanwhile, because we've taken Koblenz, we've opened up the rail line, which massively improves our supply situation along the river in the north. And so the primary objectives are to take Remagen Bridge here in the next couple of turns, although I don't know if I can even do that. I don't know if it's possible. And then really the only other major objective here still is to take Kuln. 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 Whatever it is. Can we set peace attack this army? Nice. Well, wasn't pretty, but we have now removed the fortifications at Köln, which should make it easier to attack next turn, and then just keep destroying as many of the German units as we can. Cavalry. Okay. 
castle off. Oh no! A German counterattack! With a single mechanized unit. <laughs> Sorry, sir. But that didn't actually do anything. But, you know, have fun with that. Like, these guys are dead. Or dying. Why can't I attack? If I bomb them, will they just die? Maybe. One of them died. Alright. Free prisoners! Plus 20 prestige. Uh, third army to allow them to have fixed attack. Yes, set piece attacks. Three KIA and overrun. More prisoners. Again, I, I don't mind losing some suppression. These German troops in Bonn. Interesting. All right, well, Koln is apparently still in supply. So we just destroyed that unit up there. I'd like to destroy the entire German army if I can. I just don't know if I have time. Prisoners. Surrender or die. That's my my mantra at the moment. You know, like vote or die. But in this case, it's surrender or die. But I also don't want to take casualties. I don't have to take casualties. So let's not take casualties. Half my army doesn't even need to be used anymore. Rounding up the Wehrmacht. A THG story. Okay. Um. I think we just have to faint him to death. Next turn. These guys are out of supply, so we'll just let them starve. Next turn's the last turn. So this could be a little tricky. But we'll see. It would really suck to not win because we don't take the last objective on the last turn. German armor counterattack out of Kuln? Interesting. Meanwhile, thank you, Germans. You all starved on the other side of the river. We took the objective. Hooray! And more prisoners. And we got a free B-26 bomber unit. All right. We're going to pound Colm. Two support down. I think this one's the weakest, so we'll launch a feint here. That should destroy its last support. Should then allow us to attack it. Success. All right, so the last objective is ours. Now it's really just a mopping up venture. Or, you know, again, I don't want to take casualties just to take them. But I would like to destroy as much of the enemy army if, as we can. One German unit that could counterattack is here. And I don't think I have the strength to finish it. But I think my defender should be strong enough to hold. So we should win all the all the secondaries. Oh, 
Overrun and breached. Overrun and breached. Hell yeah! Alright. So we took out an enemy headquarters unit there. Yeah. So I, I can't finish the guys off there. I don't want to take more casualties. So we'll just accept the victory and end it. Hopefully they don't counterattack a colon, but I don't I don't think they can attack across the river either. So, yep. Victory! Victory! A golden victory. Primary objectives taken on time. 393. I think that's a new high score for us. 37 enemy KIA, 48 POWs. We lost 12 American steps, 1 free French, 13 infantry steps together, 4 armored. That's less than 10% of our, our, of our forces. So a victory there. And is that the end of the campaign, or do we have another... We have another conference, it looks like. Next conference. We have four more missions, by the looks of it. We do more cards, so we get m more bombers, so I'll take that. Uh, and I think we'll take air, air supply. That would be very useful. You know, I don't really use these er elite replacements, so maybe just another supply convoy. And then we get the Polish Paras as well. So we spent a little bit of prestige. We still have 510 left. You can see here there's there's four more battles. This is the end, I'm guessing. In Northern Europe, we're going to have uh, uh, Plunder. <laughs> Operation Plunder. Uh, Rin et Danube and End at the Elba. Okay. So you can see the Russians obviously moving in here. And then we also get to return to Italy for once. Our very well-developed British and 8th and a U.S. 5th army are going to drive into the Po Valley. Into northern, northern Italy. So one final hurrah in the Mediterranean. Three more operations in Germany. And that is the situation. Okay. So, um... The question is, how much of the prestige do I want to spend on things like this? Like logistics? I, I probably want river assault, to be honest. The ability to do a river assault. I don't see... I don't... The British apparently don't easily get to build a river assault, but I can spend US points on river assault. I don't even know, like... Does it make sense to do the free French with river assaults? US 9th and 7th, probably, but that's a lot of freaking prestige to spend. It's like 200 prestige just so we can do a river assault. Meanwhile, I do want to maximize my logistics. I know we're not maximizing for the Free French, but we should at least improve it. Because I think this these are going to be like, sprint as far as you can and hopefully you do okay. So I will gladly spend prestige to improve logistics. I will keep a little bit of prestige in my back pocket in the event that we want to um, use it for, like, some upgrades. I have no reason to entrench. But that's the situation going into the final set of campaigns. I think that's all we're going to do for the conference. So go ahead and end the conference. I didn't even see what the warning was about level 3 engineering. Alright, so the next, in the terms of chron chronology, plunder is, comes before Rhine on Danube, and the Po Valley is April 12th, so that comes last. So if we're just going chronologically, plunder is next at March 24th, then uh, Rhine at Danube. I wonder if that'll include going after, yep, the Eagle's Nest, so that will include that. But I'm guessing these are going to be more logistical challenges. But before we jump into the next battles and the last uh, rung of campaigns, if you will, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off. So we will continue our series uh, in our next episode, obviously. And then in that episode, we'll look at the British drive uh, over, the, over the Rhine in the north and the drive into the heartland of uh, German industry in the Ruhr in our next video. But until our next video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. And this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm out.